Hey, how's it going everybody out there in YouTube land? <laughs> this is Mike coming at you. Especially those guys that are in Google Plus. Uh, the all classic drum covers that Tony has created. Um, I really wanted to do this home video because I think it's important to get to know each other and to see how we operate. You know, life is too short and it's just good to, to me to get to know each other. This internet stuff is great, but I feel like people just communicate too much electronically these days. And so I felt it was a good, good way to get to know each other. And, uh, and so hopefully you guys will also do this. This is my best friend, one of my best friends. His name is Prince. Yes, he's a standard poodle, three years old. And he is just the most lovable thing, and I love him to death. And uh, he's a great companion, aren't you? Yes, you are. Um, anyway, welcome to my home. This is where I do all the electronic editing. Um, and as you saw, I do, or will see, uh, I will. I go out to my garage to do the actual drumming and stuff. So I come out here to do all my editing. And by the way, you finally get to see my face. And uh, yes, I wear glasses. I'm an old man, but um, <laughs> I know a lot of my or all of my videos. You, you never can see what I look like. So now you get it. Anyway, this is where I work and do all my my editing. And uh, today I'm actually working my job from home. It's called teleworking. And I'm able to occasionally work from home, and it's so nice uh, to do my, to do the job and to sit home in the, in the my comfort of my own house. So I really enjoy that, and uh, I just wanted to give you a quick overview of what I am and what I do. Um, I'm going to go through the process of how I make videos very quickly. Because I know everybody does it differently. Everybody has different programs, and so it's not going to pertain to everybody. Everybody doesn't play electronic drums, so it's only going to it's only going to go for those that, that have that. But really, this is all about getting to know you and you getting to know me. I really want other people to do this if possible. It doesn't have to be this long. It's just a quick shout out. I just want to see where you live where you do your stuff, maybe a quick tour of your studio would be so nice. Hey guys, this is uh, the front of my house. I wanted to show you guys uh, where I lived, since none of you guys will probably ever be here. Um, give you an idea. Got a lot of cars in the driveway today, but I'll walk over here and see if we can do any good weather. Yeah, this is a little bit better. So we've got our uh, Christmas stuff all set up and ready to go and so this is my humble abode it's a nice house and uh, we really enjoy it We're very blessed and uh, I just wanted to give you a quick shot of this and if you guys uh, ever want to uh, do a little video of your places I would love to see it, it kind of gives you a family feel when you do things like this anyway hope you Back here is, uh, is the back of the house where the patio is. We don't have a swimming pool. Um, and we don't have a really big yard. Our yard goes up to the hedges there. And as you can see, it goes that way to the front. Back here, we have a little canal that comes across. And all the water from this community drains into a lake down there. I don't know if you can see it from here. But there's a retention lake down there where all the water drains from and then it drains um, onto another lake from there let's go check out the patio and so if we step out on our back porch here this is our patio and this is our dog prince he is a standard poodle 70 pounds of poodle there <laughs> but we love him to death so he's looking for squirrels now you got that hunting instinct going on. He chases the squirrels and and the possums and stuff around here. 
anyway, this is where we hang out. Um, we got a nice little, that table, that metal table way over there is, uh, it's got a fire pit in it and I've got a little barbecue. And so we like to hang out here uh, when it's tolerable. It's usually um, very, very hot in Florida. And so we don't spend a lot of time out here as much as we want to, but it's a nice area to just come out here and chill out and, and uh, watch the, watch the uh, nature at its best. And again, here's a hot tub, which we don't really use. Kind of want to get rid of it. Um, but anyway, that gives you an idea of where I live. And hope you enjoy it. This is Mike coming at you. Here's my drum set down at the church. I really enjoyed playing it. Um, don't get to play it a lot, but this is my acoustic set. It's a Tama. Star Classic Superstar, seven piece. I'm still working on getting uh, pieces for it, like cymbals and some upgraded stands and different things like that, but it's a great sounding set to me. And I've got a friend, uh, Ted, who's gonna give you a little example of what that sounds like. And I might even throw in a couple here and there. But uh, I got a double bass. I've got an SLP Tama uh, classic snare, and then a couple floor toms, cymbals all the way around, and it's just a wonderful sounding set. And let me see if I can just um, hit a couple of them just to give you a feel of what it's like. Anyway, so hopefully the future for making videos will be with this set. That's the hope and desire. We'll see how it all unfolds because the electrics are so much easier and I would need to set up all mics and everything. But if this recording works out good, I may go like um, AR drummer. I may just go ahead and uh, record it from a distance, depending on how this camera records drum sounds. I'm not sure yet. I'm gonna try that out. Anyway, just wanted to give you a quick shot of my acoustic set. Take care. Okay guys, this is Mike coming at you. I wanted to do this video to show you um, where uh, the magic happens. <laughs> um, don't mind the mess, we've got a garage sale, stuff left over and as you can see I'm located in a garage. And so I've decided to uh, show you where I play and um, how my setup goes and hopefully you guys will you might think about doing it as well because it, it, would, it would be interesting to see how you guys set up your stuff and where it is and stuff like that. Anyway, let's go ahead and start over here. Now we're entering the small little area that I got. As you can see, it's pretty crowded. And I don't know if you can see it. I had to take it off. That's how I do the uh, filming, I actually connect the camera and I have to lift this onto a speaker cabinet. That's how I get my overhead shots. You know, <laughs> it's old school, um, but hey, it works. Right here is a, uh, like a pie rack thing uh, that I got where I hold all my equipment. I've got a uh, sound system. There's a subwoofer down there that I bought with the drums the Roland drums many years ago 
And so um, I don't ever use it anymore because I don't really play out. It's all headphones, but it's there if I need it. Um, and of course, there's the drum brain, and there's my little computer that I use to record. And then, of course, I use old school music. Um, I've tried it with a regular phone, but what I don't like about that is I don't have time when I hit the, <laughs> the go button to uh, turn around and start playing. With this, it gives me a little bit of time, and the sound is pretty good, actually. I do have um, an audio interface, which I'm thinking about using, but I haven't uh, connected it up yet or anything. And so I keep all my wires and my little cool things around here. And uh, so that's it. Um, let me go back over here. I'm going to just show you. This is the setup, and as you can see, there's nothing but garage things everywhere. But this is my little haven, and I love it back here. And the only thing I don't like it is it gets a little bit warm, so I have to hook up my little fan and uh, just jam out in here and try to try to do the best I can. Okay, guys, um, I'm going to just show you real quick what I do to hook everything up real um, real time and here's the boom box I have a uh, USB or RCA sorry to a uh, looks like an eighth inch cord so it comes out of here comes down to what they call the mix in on my, on my I don't know if you can see it too well from here let me pull this out it's called the mix in or the yeah, some, and, and some may call it the aux in on, on some models. This right here is just my headphones. So it, the signal comes in here, goes through, and then it goes out to the computer through this cord right here, which goes from quarter inch over to my interface. And all it does is it, you have to have a means of taking the signal from your module um, your module and turning it into a, a form w which will plug into your computer and so that form would be USB and so if you can see over here the end of that is USB it goes over and around so to the out to the interface to the computer the neat thing about this module is I'm able to take the signals that are coming from the music box into my headphones and bring them in and mix them in, but only the signal from the drums goes out. And there's a little setting that you have to go in here. Uh, I don't know if every drum module has that ability to do that. As a matter of fact, I know they don't. Some of the older models don't do that. But I believe what you can do is you can actually hook it up, hook it to your computer, and even if the music goes into your audio program, it should go on a separate track. So now you can have your drums on one track and your music on another. So, um, yeah, you have to make sure, you have to, you have to have a way of isolating your drum sound so that way you can manipulate it and change the sound, you know, lower and whatever on my particular module I have the ability to bring the volumes and stuff up or down on just about every piece on my drum which is a very nice feature because some people record their stuff their snares are too loud or their cymbals are too loud um, the toms are too loud the bass you know whatever um, or it's not loud enough and so they want to have that capacity to be able to adjust that and this allows you to do that um, however, you can if you go to a mixing board, you can do the same thing. I just don't need it. And I also have settings in here where I can adjust, you know, the type of, you know, mix that I want as far as treble, bass, reverb, things like that. So now, let's go and try um, putting some sounds through the Audacity program. And I'll show you how that works. Okay, this might be a little different. <laughs> trying to uh, run all this stuff what you do is this this is not about how to run audacity but once you get audacity installed and you want to record you hook everything up and you hit your record button and you'll see it start to move i'm going to go ahead and hit some drums now to show you the signals going in there 
Can you see that? And so, um, you can also notice that the signal isn't very high. You don't want it very high because it'll come out scratchy. And then you won't be able to lower it. No matter even if you lower the volume, the recording level will still be too loud. So you have to make sure that when you're recording your drums, that you do not set them very high. And as you can see, you can set that. Um, so you want to make sure that the level going out. Now, I have the capacity to do that. Let me go ahead and stop that. And you should, too, on your drum module, is this master. Remember I showed you a little while ago it's going out to the computer? Well, this little button right here called my master allows me to turn it up and down and adjust the volume going out to the recorder. And that's what you want to do. You want to make sure that that thing is not too loud because you'll get scratch and then you won't be able to get rid of it. So it's better to go uh, a lot lower and then when you're, when you're mixing with the song, you can bring the gain up, um, which is your volume control, and then you mix it by ear or however you want to do it. And so, anyway, that's the process I use. It's very simple. They're free programs. You know, old time school music. <laughs> um, there's nothing difficult about this. And I just wanted to share that with you guys. Um, it's very important to get good sound because it enhances your playing. Um, and not only that, but it teaches you stuff that you can become a better professional at what you're doing, your craft, drumming, right? All right, I'll talk to you later. Anyway, I hope you guys really enjoyed the little tour. Um, Merry Christmas. And a happy new year. I know I've, I've been pumping out a lot of covers lately, but that's probably going to stop soon because I'm really, to be honest, getting burned out. It's a lot of work. <laughs> it's a lot of work um, sometimes to just do one, and I've been cranking them out quite a bit. So I have to slow down. I have to pace myself. As William said, you know, I need to come up with a schedule, and he is so right. I want to thank the community that Tony has created because you guys are awesome um, and it's only going to get better it's going to grow and it's going to get better but it won't do it unless you participate unless you become part of this family because that's literally what it is and I think that's one of the things that draws me to this place is it's not just a quick cover throw it on there and gone this community is going to evolve into something a lot more and it's going to be a family unit and it's going to get to a point where you don't just come in once a month or every couple weeks, throw it down a video, and never, never interact. It's going to have to be more than that, if you ask me. I'm not the owner. Maybe Tony will disagree with that. But um, it's all good that you're part of this, but you really have to interact because we want to know you. We want to know what you do and... and uh, because you got to remember, drumming and your skill and talent and gift is only a part of who you are. It's not totally encompassing. So I want to know a little bit more about you. Um, have a great Christmas and New Year, and I hope you guys enjoyed this. Take care. Bye.